Welcome back, YouTube. It is Cole Scorpio here again with another edition of Why I Do Things the Way I Do. So, today we're going to focus on paint filling, the proper way to paint fill your clubs. You all can see I have here the mirror MVs, beautiful irons. And we're going to paint fill these irons with, um, not quite sure what color I want to use. But I'm going to show you guys step by step what's needed, how to go about properly paint filling, and putting a different type of custom effect to your own golf clubs. You will need the following. This right here works wonders on removing paint. It's very, very good and removing the paint and maintaining the integrity of the rest of the material. Now, I highly advise you do not get any of this around this, right? Because it will eat into it and it will make your club ugly. Next, what you will need is some acetone. Make sure it is 100% pure acetone. By far, these two products here will do a great job of removing the paint that is currently inside of your clubs and then you can take any fainter polish of your choice and fill them with. I'll show you guys that in the next video coming up. So in short, what you all will need are the following. Don't forget the next you have to have a toothbrush one that you're not going to use for yourself and a container that is large enough to house the club at hand get you a couple of rags and make sure you are very well ventilated because that stripper stuff is strong. So without further ado, we'll get started. First, you want to make sure you have the container. Put some stripper in it. That'll take care of the bottom portion of the number. Let me refocus my camera. Then you take the, remember, you do not want to spray any stripper on this portion here. Zero, zip, zilch, nada, nunca, right? Then you delicately spray, is that the word? Delicately spray. Let it sit until the paint starts to come up. We'll check back in a minute. So we're back, it's been about five or seven minutes now. And what you will do is primarily take the toothbrush and kind of scrub against the paint until it kind of comes off. And what you can see here now is that the paint is starting to off somewhat, but mirror obviously has some crazy strong paint. So even my efforts to get the gold out as well as the black are not successful. So we'll just focus on the mirror work. Okay. 
see it? We have fully removed all of the black paint from the club. So let us do a quick wipe down and see what we have left to do. So not bad at all. We'll check back with you. All right, once you have established the style of paint that you want for your club, you can begin painting. However, I'm gonna recommend one of these three brands. Now, OPI is by far the best brand, followed by China Glaze, and then Orly. I've been paint filling clubs now for about 10 years and if you want to find your color, be sure to get it out of one of these particular brands. By far, Opie has the best adhesiveness for golf clubs, China Glaze is good, and Orly has some of the special colors you might want to look for. So once you have your color identified, it's a matter of simply painting the golf club, the color you would like. Now, for all my YouTube followers out there, I want to just show you all what I'm going to do. This will not be my finished product, but just to show you the two brands I'm going to use are going to be this OPI and China Glaze. I'm going to do the mirror and OPI, whatever color. And I'm going to do the logo down here and China Glaze, whatever color this is. I will not be keeping these clubs, these particular colors. The color I'm going with is a solid white. Ideally because of the theme of the bag I'm going for. I'm doing these two colors primarily to show you all that China Glaze or OPI, either brand is good, just as the Orly brand. It's just a matter of being sure that you apply it properly. All right, YouTube, look, YouTube, YouTube, do not laugh at how I'm setting this up a paint. I just needed a quick way to show you all how to properly paint fill your golf clubs. So what we're going to do first is open your paint and put a, a nice coat over what you want to go over. So all we're going to do is Simply paint over this here. Make sure you get a nice fill on all the indentations. All right. Next would be same on the mirror logo. Again, I will not be keeping my golf clubs these colors. I want to show YouTube just the feasibility in this process. Once you have gone over the areas, you're gonna let it sit and you're gonna let it dry like any other paint would. And I'll show you the next step in the process when we return. Oh, the number up top here, it came out fairly well. Do not worry about that because you don't want your paint to run and be uneven. You want to lean this up against a wall or have it sitting up against something as such. So that way you could evenly paint fill the top portion of this. But for right now, we're going to let this sit and dry and we'll be back shortly. Okay, we're back and as you can see the paint is very very dry the first coat very dry that's what you want to be able to do very dry to the touch here's the critical part you are gonna need a very very soft terry cloth or soft material 
if you're going to use a terry cloth, be sure to use a side that is the softest. As you can kind of see the different textures on sides. Let me put them side by side so you can kind of tell. See, the left side is more smooth and the right side is a little more abrasive. You want the side here for what you're going to do next. Simply wrap it around your finger as such. Get your acetone, the soft side of the cloth, a little dip, and a little dab. Quickly and very, very efficiently over the part that you want to remove first. So, very quickly. See, what that does is removes the top portion of the paint without going inside of the actual fill. So, you all can see that came off fairly well. Now you will just do the same. Here, get it, one dip, bam. Very, very quickly. See that? Now that's your first coat. Then you can kind of get the excess residue from around that side. But you can see it came out very, very well. Throw that to the side. Next, you want to make sure that you lightly go over it with a dry cloth, quick blow, and then you will proceed to put a second coat on top of that first coat. See here, simply taking another coat and applying it to Love. Same man as you did before. Now I know you. Some of you all are saying, "Man, that coat is rather thick." Yeah. So here's the kicker. I did not know that my daughter took the remaining colors of paint I want to use. So that's why I've stopped here using. All right, we're back, and as you can see, the second coat is fully dry. It's been on for now maybe 15, 20 minutes, and what we're going to do is go through the same process, lightly and quickly scrubbing with the acetone until it comes off. So you guys will get a good look at that. Go with the dab dab, quick swash over. And then very, very quickly and lightly, get it over. See? Now it comes out very, very clean. Very, very clean look to it. And all the stuff around it, the residue around it, you just clearly clean that or wipe over that. Make sure it's nice and Nice and clean. That looks very, very good. <clears throat> Next, you want to do the same thing with the red burgundy paint. Quick, lightly wipe, very quickly. Come off and just clean all the excess residue. Now each time you dip into the acetone, I forgot I was recording for a second. Each time dip into the acetone, make sure that you get a new area on your cloth. Then it's just a matter of very, very fine tuning, cleaning. Because what you're going to do next is put a top coat on.
And as you all can see, we're ready for our first top coat. Again, this will go for any color you want. Nice, clean look. Get a little closer on that for you all. Any of the light residue you see, you can clearly just wipe over that real quick. your paint marks coming out and what I found out in my many years of doing this is the more premium top coat that you buy the more durable it is for the sake of this experiment I only use the one I had in the house normally I would get an OPI brand uh, but essentially what you would do now is let this dry Go over one time with your terry cloth and acetone. Put another coat on, let it dry, and go over one more time with your terry coat. I mean, terry coat. thoughts your anything just trying to get my channel started but cold scorpio out